Hmm? You expect us to fight at the side of green recruits? To be perfectly frank with you, we never expected this many volunteers to respond to our call. Because of that, we are honored to have been chosen to meet the enemy on the front lines of battle. What do you mean we're honored? We might as well go and commit suicide. You can get killed fighting on the front lines. What does that matter? Our purpose remains the same. We will use all our skill to stop this uprising. We require a leader. One that would be an inspiration to the people. One worthy of our loyalty. Commander Liu Bei, I have brought Master Guan Yu and Master Zheng Fei. Welcome to our force. I am Liu Bei, a direct descendant of Liu Shang, King of Zhongshan. The Imperial Han has asked us to fight against the rebels. Together, we will answer that call. Something wrong, Master Liu? This victory. We're only treating the symptoms, not the illness. We are fighting a war against misguided peasants. That will not cure this world of chaos. Tell me then, what is your solution? What would your duty lead you to fight against? I'd begin at its very core. It is corruption that ruins the land, a blight that harms the people. I see. It would please me greatly if I were allowed to help you in this endeavor. A sword of your noble purpose. Oh. To have even one man such as yourself is worth a thousand. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. I'll join in with your cause as well. Then here, in this place, let us swear an oath of brotherhood. That we shall live and fight and die as one! As the leader of this coalition, I, the Honorable Yuan Shao, offer our heartfelt thanks for all the aid that you have given us. A pack of hyenas steeped in pride and ambition. There is no need to even talk with them to see that. You say what you think. A very dangerous tendency when you're far from home. In general, mediocre people tend to strive for mediocre goals. Is that not right? Master Guan Yu. And how is it that you know my name? As you are so adept at recognizing mediocrity, I pride myself on being able to recognize those of true worth. Will you not sit down for a moment? You're not in a hurry to leave, I hope. I would be honored if you shared a cup with me. I regret I cannot. Thank you. I have duties which were entrusted to me and I must see to them. A man of great depth and character. I believe great things are in store for Master Cao Cao. I request that you stay by my side a little longer, Guan Yu. My lord, you have chosen to follow the path of principle. Such a pathway is filled with great honor. For me, the path of my own duty is extremely clear. It's to be loyal. Nothing can part me from my brothers. So, you feel the individual is greater than the path? I swore a sacred oath with these men, and all my honor commands that I go to them. But I do not leave you so quickly, my lord. I offer you my heart and strength for your battle at Guandu. He, too, cares about the principles we fight for. I know that is true, but I understand why he must leave. Guan Yu, share your thoughts with me. From what you have seen of him, what kind of man is Cao Cao? 
He's deep, intelligent, strong. He has very strong principles. He is worthy of being called a hero and is a man who will fight for his dream. He judges every man by his abilities, nothing more. He's fair, yet his feelings don't sway him. Hence, he has no caring for the people. No caring for the people? Strange. I fear I could not share the land with such a man. It is truly a shame. Well, Guan Yu, you're back. It is good to see you again. I wield my blade for the benefit of all. It is my duty to clear this land of chaos. Let us go forward, my brother. We'll teach those who have chosen to stray from the path. So, you say that you will continue on, and go to Yi. That is the place where brother can stand and grow. Compi, you will come with me. Guan Yu! I know you must head west. Good luck on your journey. My son and I will stay. We will make it our duty to guard Jing for you. I see. Both Wei and Wu would want to own it. It's right on Yi's doorstep. My lord! I wish you success in capturing Yi. May we have the privilege of guarding your back? Brother, you have just made your way back to us. Come now. It is not as if this is the last day we will meet. Father, are you sure our lord won't be angry? We weren't ordered to attack Fawn Castle. I've no time for that. This situation must be taken care of now. Brother must move to capture Han Zhang soon. Before you reap the harvest, you must cut the weeds. Makes sense. We must keep Fawn Castle from being a threat, or we'd need Chang Du to give us their help. So our lord couldn't move on Han Zhang. That means we'll have to spend more time on our conquest. Ugh. Sometimes the best way to defend is to attack. Ah, the enemy has moved quicker than us. My son, Ping. We will become like great dragons. We will blow away the dark clouds that threaten this land! Right, Father! <laughs> I thought I was too late. I was gathering men together. While you took care of important matters, I'm sorry that I worried you. No. I'm just glad that what I feared did not come to pass. But brother, there was no need for you to face this alone. I hope that you do not think that you cannot call on me. Brother. Do you remember the oath that we swore that day? Of course. We swore that we would live, fight, and even die together. Yes. And no matter what kind of trouble might still face us, we must honor that oath. nearing the end. Soon, brother. Just one more battle, and then we will realize your dream. Yeah. From beating up on yellow turban bandits to this. Who'd have guessed, huh? Who knew back then that I would ever be calling you my friend? Or should I say my brother? Oh, you looked like a weakling then. <laughs> I did not look weak, Shang Fei. You! Didn't you think so as well? No. 
Even then, I believed in Liu Bei and his vision, and that he'd be able to lead us. We have journeyed far. <laughs> Indeed we have! Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. We fight and live to create a new world. You say you want me to become the Grand General, and take control over all the armies of the land. And yet, brother, we have won peace. There is no more need for armies or fighting. Still yet, the proud, bold figure of a true warrior will act like a deterrent to some. The sight of Guan Yu carrying the Blue Dragon will help keep the world a place of peace without chaos and war. Brother, that is part of the dream. Then I, Guan Yu, do agree to accept this duty that you have laid on me. For the peace and prosperity of my brother's land, I will do all I can to show the people the true meaning of duty. <laughs> <laughs>